Hello welcome to IT Expert YouTube video series. Today we are going to talk about Kubernetes interview question and answer. What is Kubernetes? Kubernetes is a distributed open source technology that helps us in scheduling and executing application containers within and across clusters. A Kubernetes cluster consists of two types of resources. The master coordinates all activities in the cluster, for example, scheduling applications, maintaining application state, scaling applications, and rolling out new updates. Nodes a node is an instance of an OS that serves as a worker machine in a Kubernetes cluster. Also, node will have two components. Kubelet agent for managing and communicating with the master. Tool Docker containers tools for running container operations. Kubernetes features and benefits. Features of Kubernetes. Automates various manual processes. For instance, Kubernetes will control for you which server will host the container, how it will be launched, etc. Interacts with several groups of containers. Kubernetes is able to manage more cluster at the same time. Provides additional services. As well as the management of containers, Kubernetes offers security, networking and storage services. Self-monitoring. Kubernetes checks constantly the health of nodes and containers. Horizontal scaling. Kubernetes allows you scaling resources not only vertically but also horizontally, easily and quickly. Storage orchestration. Kubernetes mounts an ad storage system of your choice to run apps. Automates rollouts and rollbacks. If after a change to your application something goes wrong, Kubernetes will roll back for you. Container balancing. Kubernetes always knows where to place containers by calculating the best location for them. Run everywhere. Kubernetes is an open source tool and gives you the freedom to take advantage of on-premises, hybrid, or public cloud infrastructure. Letting you move workloads to anywhere you want. Benefits of Kubernetes Control and automate deployments and updates. Save money by optimizing infrastructural resources thanks to the more efficient use of hardware. Orchestrate containers on multiple hosts. Solve many common problems deriving by the proliferation of containers by organizing them in pods see the last post. Scale resources and applications in real time. Test and autocorrection of applications. Kubernetes terminology. Kubernetes and containers are often seen as two key elements in a successful DevOps practice. But there is no question that Kubernetes can be intimidating to those not familiar with it. Containers. A container is not a jail, but a jail is a container, Jason explains. A container is a way of packaging an application so that it is portable. It is contained hence the term container and it is immutable. It is the runtime requirements to actually execute and package that up in an immutable form that you can hand to someone. You want to get more familiar with Kubernetes, it helps to understand the unique terminology. Jason stresses. Here are key terms that will help to explain the processes involved in running Kubernetes. Namespaces In Kubernetes, the namespaces is effectively your working area. It is like a project in GCP or a similar thing in AWS. Pods A pod is effectively a unit of work. It is a way to describe a series of containers, the volumes they might share, and the interconnections that those containers within the pod may need. You can have a pod that has a single container in it or more than one container. Pods are flexible, to update one and it becomes version 2 and version 1 is taken out, giving you a rolling update. As Jason spells out, it gives us a way to say I always want to have three and still be able to migrate an application live from one version to another version. Without having downtime. Service. Kubernetes has a concept of a service, Jason says. It can be thought of as like a load balancer for pods. It knows which pods are alive, healthy, and ready to respond so that when we try to access whatever pod we want to get it instead of to connect to the deployment and getting the one we get, and then always asking that pod for work. Ingress. This works with the service to make sure everything ends up in the right place. Ingress can also provide load balancing. Config. Maps. 
This is an API object for storing information in key value pairs. A config map is very useful for doing things like pre-stashing environment variables or files that can actually be mounted directly into pods without actually having to have an actual file system somewhere. Jason says, adding that they are not meant for confidential data. Secrets are an object and a place to store confidential information as the name implies. What is Kubernetes architecture? Kubernetes is an architecture that offers a loosely coupled mechanism for service discovery across a cluster. A Kubernetes cluster has one or more control planes, and one or more compute nodes. Overall, the control plane is responsible for managing the overall cluster, exposing the application program interface, and for scheduling the initiation and shutdown of compute nodes based on the desired configuration. Each of the compute nodes runs a container runtime like Docker along with an agent, Kubelet, which communicates with the control plane. Each node can be bare metal servers, or on-premises, or cloud-based virtual machines. What are Kubernetes architecture components? The main components of a Kubernetes cluster include Nodes Nodes are VMs or physical servers that host containerized applications. Each node in a cluster can run one or more application instance. There can be as few as one node. However, a typical Kubernetes cluster will have several nodes and deployments with hundreds or more nodes are not uncommon. Image Registry Container images are kept in the registry and transferred to nodes by the control plane for execution in container pods. Pods Pods are where containerized applications run. They can include one or more containers and are the smallest unit of deployment for applications in a Kubernetes cluster. What is Kubernetes control plane architecture? A Kubernetes control plane is the control plane for a Kubernetes cluster. Its components include Cube API Server as its name suggests the API server exposes the Kubernetes API, which is communication central. External communications via command line interface or other user interfaces pass to the Kube API server and all control planes to node communications also goes through the API server. Eek. The key value store where all data relating to the cluster is stored. EECT is highly available and consistent since all access to EECT is through the API server. Information in EECT is generally formatted in human-readable YAML. Cube Scheduler When a new pod is created, this component assigns it to a node for execution based on resource requirements, policies, and affinity specifications regarding geallocation and interference with other workloads. Cube Controller Manager Although a Kubernetes cluster has several controller functions, they are all compiled into a single binary known as Cube Controller Manager. Controller functions included in this process include Replication Controller Ensures the correct number of pods is in existence for each replicated pod running in the cluster. Node Controller Monitors the health of each node and notifies the cluster when nodes come online or become unresponsive. Endpoints Controller Connects pods and services to populate the endpoints object. Service account and token controllers. Allocates API access tokens and default accounts to new namespaces in the cluster. Cloud controller manager. If the cluster is partly or entirely cloud-based, the cloud controller manager links the cluster to the cloud provider's API. Only those controls specific to the cloud provider will run. The Cloud Controller Manager does not exist on clusters that are entirely on-premises. More than one Cloud Controller Manager can be running in a cluster for fault tolerance or to improve overall cloud performance. Elements of the Cloud Controller Manager include Node Controller Determines the status of a cloud-based node that has stopped responding. Route Controller Establishes routes in the cloud provider infrastructure. Service Controller Manages cloud providers load balancers. What is Kubernetes node architecture? Nodes are the machines, either VMs or physical servers, where Kubernetes place pods to execute. Node components include Kubelet. Every node has an agent called Kubelet. It ensures that the container described in pod specs are up and running properly. Kube proxy. 
A network proxy on each node that maintains network nodes which allows for the communication from pods to network sessions. Whether inside or outside the cluster, using operating system packet filtering if available. Container Runtime Software responsible for running the containerized applications. Although Docker is the most popular, Kubernetes supports any runtime that adheres to the Kubernetes CRI. What are other Kubernetes infrastructure components? Pods By encapsulating one or more application containers, pods are the most basic execution unit of a Kubernetes application. Each pod contains the code and storage resources required for execution, and has its own IP address. Pods include configuration options as well. Typically, a pod contains a single container or few containers that are coupled into an application or business function and that share a set of resources and data. Deployments A method of deploying containerized application pods. A desired state described in a deployment will cause controllers to change the actual state of the cluster to achieve that state in an orderly manner. Learn more about Kubernetes deployments. Replica set ensures that a specified number of identical pods are running at any given point in time. Cluster DNS serves records needed to operate Kubernetes services. Container resource monitoring, captures and records container metrics in a central database. What are Kubernetes architecture best practices and design principles? Here are some best practices for architecting Kubernetes clusters. Ensure you have updated to the latest Kubernetes version 1.18 as of this writing. Invest upfront in training for developer and operations teams. Establish governance enterprise-wide. Ensure tools and vendors are aligned and integrated with Kubernetes orchestration. Enhance security by integrating image scanning processes as part of your CCD process, scanning during build and run phases. Open source code pulled from a GitHub repository should always be considered suspect. Adopt role-based access control across the cluster. Least privilege, zero trust models should be the standard. Further secure containers by using only non-root users and making the file system read-only. Avoid use of default value, since simple declaratives are less error-prone and demonstrate intent more clearly. Be careful when using basic Docker Hub images, which can contain malware or be bloated with unnecessary code. Start with lean. Clean code and build packages up from there. Small images build faster, are smaller on disk, and image pulls are faster as well. Keep containers simple. One process per container will let the orchestrator report if that one process is healthy or not. When in doubt, crash. Kubernetes will restart a failed container, so do not restart on failure. Be verbose. Descriptive labels help current developers and will be invaluable to developers to follow in their footsteps. Do not get too granular with microservices. Not every function within a logical code component need be its own microservice. Automate, where it makes sense. Automating CCD pipeline lets you avoid manual Kubernetes deployments entirely. Use Liveness Probe and Readiness Probe to help manage pod life cycles, or pods may end up being terminated. While initializing or begin receiving user requests before they are ready. Thank you for watching this video. We provide hands-on computer training with labs, homework, group projects, prepare you for the certification, provide real projects, internship opportunities, support you in Resume, LinkedIn, staffing support, provide tech, references, in-person, online class, class retake options, and more. Call us at 847-350-9034 for your free career consultation meeting. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our video to get the notification of our latest video.